Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you all are doing great. So now I created this simple video on Pinecone three weeks ago, but I didn't explain things. Some of you suggested I should explain what is going on. So in this video, I will create a similar project using OpenAI. We are going to create this simple language translator. Here you can add as many language as you can and GPT-3 will convert that to your desired language. If you already know how to install Pinecone and all that then you can skip this part. I will give the timeline. And if you don't, then go to your browser and search pinecone.io. Go to docs and then on installation tab, you will see the commands there, just copy the installation command and in terminal paste it. Or just type pip install pinecone on the command line. Remember you have to have python installed. Just search python install on the browser and install python. Then open any folder and open it on your favorite code editor, I am using VS Code. Open the folder and then initialize pinecone using command pc in it. It will give you the boilerplate code. As you can see, we get a lot of files and folder. This file is a config file. You don't have to know much about it. You don't have to know about gitignore for now too. Assets is where we keep images and all that. And dot web folder is the React code we get. Basically we write pure Python code and it will convert that code to JavaScript. As you can see, it converts the Python code to Next.js code. But you also don't have to know much about it if you don't know JavaScript. And translator.py is where we write code. Yours may have a different name based on your folder name. Let's run and see what we get from this simple code on a browser. To run it, just type PC run or you can also see on the documentation. And for the first time, it may take some time to install JavaScript dependencies. So just wait for some time. So after one or two minutes, you will see the screen like this. The website will run on localhost 3000. So just open localhost 3000 on the browser. You will see the page like this. Now let's decode this and see how it works. As you can see at first, there is pc.center which as its name suggest, will center all the components written inside it. Then there is stack which means vertical stack. It's just like flex column in CSS. It will vertically stacks all the components inside it. Then heading, link, as its name suggests, it does exactly what its name suggests. We will look more into it later. Now let's start the actual part. Open terminal and type pip install OpenAI to install the OpenAI package. We are going to use OpenAI GPT-3 to create that translator. After it gets installed, let's clear all the boilerplate code and start from the beginning. Import OpenAI and Pinecone as PC. Now we need OpenAI API key. So just sign in to OpenAI. It's for free. I will give the link on the description or just type what I am typing. I am already signed in so it wouldn't ask for sign up, but if you are not, it will ask for sign up. Just sign up for free and you are good to go. And after you sign up, do what I am doing, click on your profile, then API keys and then create a API key and just copy it. Now we have to set up open AI API key. You can use environment variable here, but for simplicity, I am just gonna paste it here. Now let's create a class which includes some variables like text, language which can be accessed through the whole app I will show you later how you can access the variable written inside it. Now let's create some variables like text, language, and translation. Translation is used to store the result coming from OpenAI, text will be used to store the written text and language will be used to store the desired language to translate. Now let's create a function that will run on button click. It is the main function that will translate the language. Now this code is for precautionary. Like if the text is empty, language is empty. It will show the alert message. You can get text, language on the self parameter. You can use window alert method on Pinecone to show the alert message. Now this prompt part is what we are going to pass to OpenAI GPT-3. We are going to say translate this text to this language and it will translate that. You can get text and language in self parameter and if they are empty, it will just show the window alert. Now let's request OpenAI GPT-3. 
you can write the code in a following way. We are going to use the model DaVinci and we are simply passing the prompt. And if you are wondering what the hell is this code and what does it do? Just go to OpenAI website and go to Playground tab. And then click on View Code button. There you will see this part of code for Python and many other languages. You can just copy that part. Now the OpenAI returns a lot of data. You can just print the response and see what we get, but we get the result in responses.choices. You can just print and see. Now then we are setting the value of translation variable to the result. Translation variable was empty at the beginning and now we are setting it to the result of OpenAI GPT-3. And also if there is an error, we are just showing alert message. Now let's create the website. This function is what will be displayed on the website. Now as you saw on the preview, the translator is centered. That is because we write everything on PC.center which will center everything written inside it. And then we use PC.vStack to vertically align everything written inside it. VStack will vertically align everything written inside it and we can pass the gap between the components too. You can see more about stacks and all that on documentation too. Just go to Pinecone website and search stacks. You will see all about stacks with examples there. As you can see we can use H stack if we have to align components horizontally and V stack if we have to align vertically. Now we can use PC.heading to write heading and we can pass the color of text, font size there too. Now we can use PC.input for an input element as you saw on the preview. It has a on blur event handler. It is triggered when the user finishes editing the input field and moves the focus away from the field. Then remember we declare the text variable. Here we are setting the value of that variable using state.set and then variable name. When user moves away from the input field, the written text value will be set as the value of text variable. And now we can use pc.select to create drop-down menu that allows the user to select a language from a list of options. You can pass an array of options and it has an event called on change and just like its name suggests, it will trigger when the value changes and it will set the value of language variable. We can set the value using state.set as you saw on the input tag too. You can change the variant and other styling too. See more on the documentation. Now let's create the button that will translate the text. You can create the button using pc.button. Pass the value in designing you want and now it has an on click function that will run on the button click and here, it will run the translate function. You can access everything inside the class using state variable. As you saw we wrote the function inside class, so we are accessing it using state.function name. pc.divider is just a line. It's just like hr tag in HTML. Now to the conditional rendering, we can use pc.cond. It will only render pc.text if there is text. If the text variable is empty, it won't render anything. Now below are the designing for the vstack like the background, padding, border radius, width. You can pass the styling inside the vstack small brackets just like we have been doing for other tags. Now this is the styling for the pc.center element. We are giving it height of 100 viewport height, width of 100 VW, and a background color. It will cover the whole screen and center the VStack component on the middle of it. Now these lines of code define and compile a Pinecone application. It has only one page, we can set the title there. And that's it, our code part is done. Oof. Now let's see what we get when we run this. Open a terminal and just do PC run. It should open up the website on localhost 3000. Now open the browser and open localhost 3000. You should get this simple looking website. As you can see everything is centered here because we wrote everything on pc.center. And the heading, input tag, button, select tag is vertically aligned because we wrote everything inside vStack. Now let's check if it works or not. Just write some text inside input tag, select the language, and just simply press translate button. I know it doesn't have a loader or something like that. You can just create a variable with false and set it to true on translate function and render conditionally using pc.cond and also I just noticed the button doesn't have like a button click effect. But I give that task to you read the documentation and create it. 
And friends thank you very 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 much for watching this and good luck on your journey ahead. Thank you again and please please friends please subscribe. Good luck again.